so good morning all so today i'm going to wind up in terms of apcd which we were discussing discussing the last class and maybe in today's class uh, we'll go to wind up all the particular uh, content related to air pollution then the next class onwards we're going to move to numericals related to air pollution most probably okay so if you remember in the last time the last lecture like one or two lectures we were discussing about apcds <clears> or <throat> apcds means air pollution control devices so in the air pollution control devices what are the air pollution control devices why i'm telling you again and again bache because you will be getting a good question in your exam in mst or est whatever possible uh, in this regard but in a twisted form so that's why when i explain to you uh, listen to my videos on lms so you'll get to know you know what discussion is actually going on like for particulate pollutant removal for gases removal or for both the removal there are different different kind of apcds if you remember so you please go through my videos my lectures again if you have doubt <clears throat> otherwise you can always ask me so scrubbers i think so we were discussing last time. और सो वाटर स्क्रबर्स बेसिकली मैं आपको बता चुका था इसके बारे में एक्सप्लेन कर चुका था स्क्रबर्स आर बेसिकली व्हेन टॉक अबाउट दीस स्क्रबर्स आर यूज्ड फॉर रिमूवल ऑफ बोथ पार्टिकुलेट एज़ वेल एज़ गैसेस पोल्यूटेंट्स सो इन द गैस स्ट्रीम व्हिच आर टॉकिंग अबाउट इन द इंडस्ट्री डिपेंडिंग अपॉन एप्लीकेशंस यू कैन हैव पार्टिकुलेट पोल्यूटेंट दैट इज पार्टिकुलर मैटर फाइन पार्टिकल साइज और यू हैव गैसेस यू कैन हैव सॉक्स यू कैन हैव नॉक्स यू हैव कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड यू हैव मोनोऑक्साइड सो मेनी अदर गैसेस आर देयर so if you want to remove simultaneously both gases as well as particular pollutants you need to go for scrubbers so what are scrubbers <clears throat> i think so i have explained to you in the last class in detail these are the mechanism by which uh, the particulates are being removed or gases are being removed okay so these are the impaction diffusion you can go through again i have explained you and absorption so these impaction and diffusion are basically for the particular matter present in the gas stream see this whereas this absorption is for particular gases pollutant see gases pollutant how it's going to be absorbed in the solvent okay so ab aapko yaad ho maine aapko bataya tha ki if you are using a solvent no doubt this solvent is basically just to absorb absorb not adsorb absorb gases pollutant solubility is a main concern if the solubility is more then by default the amount of solvent which is required is less so if the amount of solvent required is less no doubt less time is required for this absorption less time is required means less energy consumption less energy consumption means minimum cost requirements <clears throat> okay so you are mechanically engineers because uh, you can understand it better like what like when you are in industry you are running on a some machinery so always the industry wants from you people ke either modify the machinery or replace the machinery or you know modify the technology so that from the same raw material for getting a same product you consume a less energy okay so this is the obvious part in each and every industry whether you using a production plant or somewhere in treatment plant or anywhere else so basically absorption i think so i told you in the last class i explained to you okay so absorption involves transferring of pollutants gas is pollutant gas phase to contacting solvent so you have a solvent you have a gas so it's a basically absorption is a transfer of pollutants from gas phase to liquid phase okay so maximize the mass transfer in dono mass transfer maximize karna hai to it's generally in counter concentration counter current kya hota hai abhi dikhane wala hu ye aapka chamber hai niche se gas aayegi aur upar se liquid aayega because gas naturally flows up and liquid by gravity flows down so you have a better contact this is counter current operation counter current are when both are in opposite direction okay so you need to have a good system design which involves selection of a solvent and design of the absorber in what sense which is i'm going to tell you both things i'm going to tell you selection of a solvent now see this absorption or scrubbing what i i was talking about scrubbing is totally dependent upon the selection of solvent if the selection of solvent is not good no doubt you have a minimum solubility minimum solubility means time required is very high when the time required is very high you know as a mechanical engineer energy consumption is very high so selection of solvent is very heavy important 
So solubility is the most important consideration for selection of a solvent for absorption. I told you, higher the solubility, lower the amount of solvent required. Okay, and moreover, the solvent which you are going to use should be non-volatile because if the solvent is volatile, then itself solvent will be volatilized and get into vapor phase. So, नीचे से आपकी गैस आ रही थी, अभी दिखाने वाला हूँ आपको, नीचे से गैस आ रही थी, ऊपर से लिक्विड आ रहा है, सॉल्वेंट आ रहा है. तो ये सॉल्वेंट अगर वोलेटाइज हो जाएगा तो ये वोलेटाइज होने पे ये गैस के साथ ऊपर निकल जाएगा सो यू वांटेड हैव वांटेड टू हैव अ मैक्सिमम सेपरेशन फ्रॉम द गैस बट सेम टाइम इफ योर सॉल्वेंट इज नॉट करेक्टली ऑब्जर्वड और सिलेक्टेड दिस सॉल्वेंट विल बी कन्वर्टेड टू वेपर फेज सो योर योर सिलेक्शन विल बी रॉन्ग योर यू नो अब्जॉर्प्शन विल नॉट बी परफेक्ट ओके सो दीस आर द प्रॉपर्टीज व्हिच यू Which you will be considering while selecting a solvent. Low flammability should be not non-flammable. Viscosity should be less. If viscosity is higher, you know very well it will not going to flow down very easily. Not going to have a contact with the gas phase easily. Now I am going to tell you how contact will happen. Beta. High chemical stability. The same thing I told you should be volatile, non-volatile. Acceptable corrosivity should not be corrosive enough so that the walls of this chamber will not get corroded. Okay, low toxic and pollution potential. Now see this thing very clearly, beta. Now your design, ध्यान से समझना, beta. इको इसके बेसिस पे आपको क्वेश्चन आएगा, beta. जो समझा रहा हूँ इसके बारे में, okay? So most popular devices in this now design is clear. If you remember, I told you that absorption system design involves two things: selection of solvent and design of absorber. Selection of solvent we have done. Now design of the absorber. अब क्या है absorber? मैं दिखाने वाला हूँ बेटा, आपको बच्चे. अब ये क्या है आई गोइंग टू टेल यू इन डिटेल द मोस्ट पॉपुलर डिवाइस विच डिवाइस इज ए पी सी जी इन टर्म्स ऑफ इन टर्म्स ऑफ स्क्रबर्स इन टर्म्स ऑफ स्क्रबर्स दे आर सेपरेट टावर्स दे हैव प्लेट टाइप टावर्स दे हैव पैक्ट कॉलम्स सो दीज आर द ए पी सी डी टाइप ए पी सी डीज ऑफ स्क्रबर टाइप which can be of separate towers how i'm going to show you plate towers i'm going to show you packed columns i'm i'm discussing so once you have packed columns why this is a packed column listen one thing very carefully now understand it very clearly see this is your chamber in the industry you know i'm drawing over here drawing over here but in the industry when you go this chamber can be as long as 10 meters 10 meters means it is 30 feet Thirty-three, four, five feet. Okay, it can be seven meters, huge. So when you have these kind of columns or absorb ab scrubbers in the industry or APC in the industry, now gas is coming from the bottom and solvent is coming from the top. Now this gas, like this, is a gas which is containing your SO two or it is containing NO two. Now you want to remove either NO two or SO two depending on applications because these gases should not be released as such in atmosphere. So you want to remove these gases, SO two. Okay. Now suppose you have SO two in the your gas stream which you want to remove. Now you want to remove to SO two, you need a solvent accordingly. So you have selected a solvent S one accordingly so that it can absorb the SO two. <coughs> Now. For maximum absorption of SO2 in solvent, they should have contact with each other. अगर contact ही नहीं होगा, gas ऊपर निकल गई, liquid नीचे आ गया. तो दोनों में contact ही नहीं होगा बच्चे. When there is no proper contact, there is a least transfer of pollutant, sorry SO2 into a solvent. So what's of energy you have spent is totally wasted. What's of energy you have spent is totally wasted. In what terms of what? You are just transferring the pollutant like here and escaping over here. Solvent is coming from the top. Gravity is falling down, coming from the bottom. So how to have a maximum contact between uh, two phases, liquid and gas phase? <clears throat> so for having a maximum contact between liquid and gas phase, we use a packing. So these are different kind of packing designs. What are these kind of packings? I am an example. Let me show you. Packing? What is it, brother? You have any kind of material like plastic. you can have polymer you can have ceramic you have a glass any kind of material now shape of the material is selected as such so that it will offer a maximum surface area see this if i am going to take this as a packing choti choti hoti beta it's very small very small theek hai jaise aapne apne wo dekha usme 
मैकेनिकल इंजीनियर हो बॉल बेरिंग में आपके बॉल्स होते हैं छोटी छोटी बॉल्स होती हैं अगर जैसी बॉल खत्म हुई आपका बेरिंग खत्म हो गया टोटली सो इफ यू आर गेटिंग दिस नाउ यू कैन हैव अ आइडिया कि ये छोटी 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 रिंग्स होती हैं इतनी इतनी रिंग्स होती हैं फॉलो ओके अब ये क्या है ये रिंग्स का अगर देखोगे देखो ये देखो होलो रिंग्स है अब ये वाला एरिया देखो बाहर वाला इसका अंदर वाला एरिया देखो इसका बाहर वाला एरिया देखो इसका अंदर वाला एरिया देखो और जो अंदर ये वाली क्रॉसिंग है इनका एरिया देखो सो so, ये छोटी सी रिंग कैन यू जस्ट एस्टिमेट आराम से कर सकते हो हाउ मच सरफेस एरिया इट इज गोइंग टू ऑफर सर्फेस एरिया किसके लिए बताता हूँ मैं अब जैसे ऊपर से कल लिक्विड सॉल्वेंट आएगा सॉल्वेंट इसको वेट करेगा करेगा ना सी बात है बताए ट्यूब ले लो ट्यूब के अंदर आप कुछ भी पत्थर डाल दो ऊपर से पानी डालोगे सारे पत्थर भीग जाएंगे बैठ हो जाएंगे ना बेटा हो गए बैठ सेफ फंडा यहाँ पे ले रहा हूँ आई एम गोइंग टू यूज दिस कॉलम इस कॉलम के अंदर मैं ये पैकिंग फिल कर दूंगा हालांकि बहुत ज्यादा पैकिंग फिल होगी इसके बीच में तो पैकिंग फिल हुई तो पैकिंग पूरा फिल हो गया ऊपर से सोलवेंट डाला मैंने लिक्विड डाला सोलवेंट डाला सोलवेंट क्या करेगा इस पैकिंग की सारे सर्फेस को वेट कर देगा जैसे वेट किया नीचे से मैं गैस ऑन कर दूंगा कौन सी गैस जिसमें से मेरे को एसो टू रिमूव करनी है ना हो द गैस इज हैविंग अ सरफेस एरिया टू 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 अब्सॉर्ब इट्स पोल्यूटेंट फ्रॉम गैस फेस टू लिक्विड फेस पहले ये सीधी निकल जाती अगर पैकिंग ना होती अब गैस को सरफेस एरिया मिल गया इसके ऊपर सो दिस इज कॉल्ड पैकिंग्स सो पैकिंग्स ऑफ फॉर अ सरफेस एरिया फॉर गैस लिक्विड कांटेक्ट आई थिंक यू आर गेटिंग दिस व्हाट आई एम सेइंग स्टिल यू हैव डाउट यू कैन आस्क मी बिफोर क्लास एंड्स okay so these packings are basically are there to offer a maximum surface area for the gas liquid contact you can well imagine you no know, like closing your eyes one in the industry you have a big column steel column is there or stainless steel column is there and you have a packings dumped in it thousand thousands of packing dumped in it and you pass the liquid from the top once so you pass the liquid from the top or solvent from the top it's going to wet whole the packing पैकिंग पूरी वेट हो गई है एंड देन यू ट्रांसफर द गैस फ्रॉम द बॉटम वंस यू ट्रांसफर गैस फ्रॉम द बॉटम नाउ गैस विल बी हैविंग अ नाउ अ प्रॉपर सरफेस वेयर इट कैन कांटेक्ट विद अ लिक्विड व्हिच इज बीइंग वेट व्हिच इज ऑन अ सरफेस वेटेड ऑन अ सरफेस सो गैस एट एवरी पॉइंट एवरी पर्टिकुलर लोकेशन विल हैव अ सरफेस एरिया विल विल हैव अ लिक्विड wherever it flows it always encounter a a particular packing it is wet so it is always encountering with a solvent so when it is always encountering with a solvent by default separation will be very good so once the gas leaves the top it is almost leaned off from the pollutant so2 okay and a solvent now mind it the solvent which is coming down containing all the pollutant we are not going to discard this solvent we are going to remove this solvent from uh, this liquid and the same solvent can be recycled back okay so you have various mechanism you sorry various methods by which this solve this particular solute ab solute kya hai par isme so2 solvent kya hai ye liquid can this solute can be removed from the liquid or solvent and the same solvent can be reused again and again so right now you have basic crunch ki what is the idea of packing over here they have different names spall rings in tetrox saddles depending on apply depending on you know how they are invented who invented them so you want an excess surface area the see this the surface area agar main isko bolu the the surface is available iska ye andar wala surface is available ye surface available hai इसका अंदर वाला अवेलेबल है ये अंदर वाला अवेलेबल है ये अवेलेबल है सी एवरी पार्ट इज अवेलेबल इफ यू कैलकुलेट पर रिंग एरिया देन यू गेट टू नो हाउ मच एरिया इज अवेलेबल फिर देखना है कि पैकिंग बड़ी अच्छी होनी चाहिए सो इट कैन बी रैंडम पैकिंग इट कैन बी स्ट्रक्चर पैकिंग क्या होता है रैंडम में यू डम्प एज सच ऑल द पर्टिकुलर यू नो दिस रिंग्स स्ट्रक्चर मीन्स वन लेयर टू लेयर थ्री लेयर फोर लेयर फाइव लेयर सो यू मेक अ लेयर फॉर अकॉर्डिंगली ठीक है सो इसकी एप्लीकेशन बहुत आगे डिफिकल्ट है उसमें नहीं जाऊंगा मैं so this is plate type scrubber so i'm going to explain a few then later on you can go through okay so you can just see this and par lo isko ek baar main nahi padunga beta main aapko puri working samjha raha hu uspe likhi hui hai jo beta same cheez hai jo maine bataya ab meri packing nahi hai bete 
मेरी प्ले टाइप स्क्रबर मैंने यूज कर लिया सो आई एम नॉट यूज दिस पैकिंग क्यों मेरी एप्लीकेशन पैकिंग यूज नहीं होने वाली है क्योंकि पैकिंग में प्रेशर ड्रॉप बहुत बढ़ जाता है ठीक है तो मैं क्या यूज करूंगा प्लेट टाइप स्क्रबर ये क्या है बेटा मैं समझाने वाला हूँ ध्यान से देखना चीज को इसको पढ़ लेना आप बेटा अगेन इट्स अ काउंटर क्राउंड काउंटर क्राउंड मीन लिक्विड इज कमिंग फ्रॉम द टॉप एंड गैस इज कमिंग फ्रॉम द बॉटम सी दिस The gas is coming in. I'm showing it sub particle, but these are gases, particles or particulate also. So, this is both will be particulate as well as gases. Particulate will be more. Will be better. But you know, I have given example. That you have to shops keep shopkeeper. They spray their house. Sorry, shops. 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 They spray their house. And same is absorption. Gas will to gas will absorb that. So both things are being taken care of. Okay. अब देखो है क्या इसमें? यहाँ से देखना पता. और भी इसमें ये भी आ गया ऊपर जो मैं आपको बताया था. ये भी बता दूँ इसके बारे में. Last lecture में बताया था कि मैं आपको अगले lecture में बताऊँगा. Demister क्या होता है? ठीक है? अब है क्या बेटा? यहाँ से देखना. You have trace like tray one, this tray two, tray three. Accordingly, in number of applications. Okay. Now. Here you pass first of all. What you going to do? You pass the air first. See this. These are distributors. ठीक है? Air distributors. यहाँ से जाएगी बेटा. Okay. So air when is coming from the top. ये जो plates हैं, ये perforated है बेटा. Okay. So these plates are perforated. Perfor perforated means you know. क्या होता है perforated? आपके घर में जो जाली होती है. जो सीव होती है सीव समझ लो बेटा एक तरह की जो आटा छलनी होती है ना बेटा आटा को छाने वाली छलनी होती है जो मम्मा यूज करती है तो यू कैन इमेजिन दैट काइंड ऑफ परफरेशन सो आई एम सेइंग परफरेशन इट कैन वेरी अकॉर्डिंग टू एप्लीकेशन तो जैसे मैं गैस पास करूंगा बेटा नीचे से तो द गैस इज बेसिकली गोइंग थ्रू द परफरेशन नाउ आई पास द लिक्विड फ्रॉम द टॉप नाउ वेन द लिक्विड फ्रॉम द टॉप इट विल एंटर ऑन अ प्लेट सी दिस So, आपके अकॉर्डिंगली वेन इट्स इट इज एंट्रिंग फ्रॉम टॉप एंड एंटर प्लेट ये प्लेट की परफ्रोशन से नीचे फॉल कर जाएगी बेटा बिल्कुल नहीं फॉल करेगी बिकॉज मैं नीचे से एयर का फ्लो रेट इतना रखूंगा कि एयर इस प्लेट से बबल आउट करेगी अंदर लिक्विड ड्रॉप डाउन नहीं करेगा तो एग्जामिन करो एग्जाम्पल एग्जामिन करो कि लिक्विड की विस्कॉसिटी बहुत ज्यादा है और गैस की विस्कॉसिटी बहुत कम है तो बाय डिफॉल्ट लिक्विड की टेंडेंसी होगी कि वो परफ्रेशन से ड्रॉप डाउन कर जाए परफ्रेशन से ड्रॉप डाउन कर जाए ठीक है समझ गए मेरी ना समझ ना बेटा जो सीव है जो घर में जाली होती है जिसमें मम्मा आपका आटा सीव करती है उसमें पानी डालोगे तो क्या होगा एकदम से पानी बाहर नीचे आ जाएगा उसका <laughs> अब सोचो नीचे से मैं एयर का प्रेशर इतना मेंटेन रखूंगा इतना मेंटेन रखूंगा एयर का प्रेशर ताकि एयर इस सीव से पास करे ये आपकी सीव ट्रे है ना ये ये ट्रे है ना ये परफ्रेशन इसके ऊपर देखो ये लिक्विड इससे नीचे ड्रिप डाउन नहीं करेगा एयर इसमें बबल आउट करेगी तो एयर का इतना फ्लो रेट इसमें मेंटेन करने वाला हूं मैं व्हाई अब सुनो क्यों बबल आउट कर रहा हूं मैं व्हाई आई एम टेनिंग सच अ हाई प्रेशर बिकॉज सी दिस मैन द एयर इज बबलिंग इन इस प्लेट पे लिक्विड भरा हुआ है जब लिक्विड ऊपर से आके इस प्लेट से फ्लो करके नीचे जा रहा है फिर दूसरी प्लेट पर फ्लो होकर नीचे जा रहा है तो इस प्लेट में लिक्विड भरा हुआ है तो लिक्विड भरा हुआ है तो जब नीचे से गैस बबल इन करेगी सो गैस विल हैव अ लोकल कंटेक्ट विद द लिक्विड ऑन अ प्लेट सो व्हेन द गैस इज हैविंग अ लोकल कंटेक्ट विद द लिक्विड ऑन अ प्लेट ऑल द पोल्यूटेंट्स आर बीइंग ट्रांसफर्ड ऑल द पोल्यूटेंट्स आर बीइंग ट्रांसफर टू द लिक्विड इमीडिएटली जस्ट इमेजिन ठीक है इमेजिन करो इमेजिन करो आप एक कप भरा हुआ है आपके एक अच्छा कप भरा हुआ पानी का जियर वाटर एंड यू बबल आउट फ्रॉम द बॉटम अ डटी गैस बबल आउट द डटी गैस माय ब्लोअर फ्रॉम द बॉटम क्या होगा जैसी गैस बॉटम पे बबल आउट करेगी तो गैस में जितने भी पोल्यूटन हैं पी पर्टिकुलर मैटर है सॉल्ट पार्टिकल्स है गैस है वो सारी लिक्विड के अंदर रह के क्लीन गैस ऊपर से बाहर निकल जाएगी तो सेफ एंड आई एम यूजिंग ऑफ एयर I am maintaining a gas flow rate so that it is bubbling from the pores on the plate or the perforation through through the plates. So when it is per it is bubbling 
through the perforations and on the plate you have a liquid yes or not liquid dekho ye aara liquid plate ke upar so gas at every every particular point is having a local contact between the liquid no between liquid and gas so when it is a local contact between gas and liquid at each and every point on a plate there is a very effective separation of particulate matter as well as the gases particular matter on the particular plate so same liquid will be flowing down flowing down flowing down it comes from the bottom we have collected and clean gas when it comes from top and you have a demister over here you know demister demister kuch nahi beta yahan pe ek obstruction lagi hui hai now what gas is doing when the gas is bubbling in bubbling in bubbling in okay so gas is going to take a solvent molecules along with it theek hai kaise main for example deta hu beta when you boil a water on a, in a pan in a home upar se steam nikalti hai jab boil karte ho ha na to jab upar steam nikal rahi hoti hai upar ba boil kare pani ke upar you put your hand on the top of the steam aapka hath geela ho jayega kyun geela ho jayega kyunki steam apne sath pani ke drop leke ja rahi hai aur kaise confirm hota hai 10 minute jyada boil kar lo aapka pani sara sook jayega on the pan when you not taking care water is boiling 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 after 10 or 20 minutes all the pan water will be evaporated and your pan will be dry so same funda yahan pe hai when you are purging a gas with high pressure into the system and it's coming from the top by default it is going to take a solvent molecule solvent hum sath dekhe jayegi apne so we don't want <laughs> solvent to be escaped as such so that's why we have an obstruction over here so one have obstruction over here over here jaise apne hand rakha tha na ghar pe apne example diya maine aapko kya hoga dekho jara ab due to inertia or rest inertia motion same funda due to inertia of rest the solvent molecule they strike this demister fall back where the clean gas change direction to streamlines and goes from the top okay <coughs> now go through this very fast bache i have explained you everything i just go through but i very fast i have explained you and i hope i have made you clear okay so last but not least i think so separate hours are there theek hai to separate hours are what so these are nothing just i want to explain over here <clears throat> this is for a minor scale applications where the applications are not very hard not high scale applications are required medium scale applications are required then you can have separate hours what are separate hours this is a huge chamber okay on the chamber top top you have sprayers are there you know what sprayers like in the bathrooms you have spray tap spray shower you know what is the purpose of shower jo ghar mein shower laga hua hai bete do you take a bath by showering theek hai because shower is going to increase the surface area because the water which is coming into the shower is going to convert into fine droplets so fine droplets means is going to have a great surface area so that's why if you put a two <clears throat> three cups of water in your body your body will not be wet but you convert three cups of water into a shower you find droplets your whole body is wet so purpose is to save water so the minimum water is required for the maximum surface area covering so same funda is we are adopting over here <clears throat> so we are putting a fine sprayers from the top okay and the liquid or solvent is is being fed to these sprayers now these sprayers will convert these all solvents into a fine droplets fine droplets mean maximum surface area you pass the gas from the bottom now this gas it will be will be there at every part of this particular chamber when it's at the every part of the chamber it's going to contact with the droplets which are being formed by the sprayers from the top okay so there's a con good contact with the gas and liquid phase 
Okay, so basically these are designed for the low pressure drop and high liquid consumption. When water is used, not exactly all solvents are being used. The pressure drop is very less because it's a very you know simple phenomena. It's not typical phenomena. Okay, so. I think so. You can go through, but I have explained to you. Still, if you have any doubt, you can ask me later on also. So, this spray nozzle use droplet of atomization. Droplet of atomization. Okay. <laughs> so, this thing I have explained, but to all of you, this is gases emission control. When we are talking about only gases emission, okay. Particulate we have covered. Particulate and gases we have covered, and when we have we have only gases. i'm not going to explain in detail but i'm going to tell you what are those okay so these are basically absorption condensation and absor <coughs> adsorption these mechanism are there okay so absorption i have explained to you yes or not same funda liquid is coming in from the top gas is coming from the bottom so this is absorption column or stripping column stripping is the bolte hain because gas is being stripped off by the solvent by from the solute Okay, so there's a stripping column is there. So clean gas is coming from the top, and the dirty liquid is coming from the bottom. So these is basically talking about. So this is condensation, but I so you can go through the condensation, but condensation same funda I have explained to you. So in cases where pollutant have low vapor pressure, okay, the condensation is effective for moving the vapor. So कुछ नहीं है बेटा, you have a water. nothing you can go through see this see this you have a water proper water solvent is there or some liquid is there dirty gas is directly being purged into a liquid jo maine abhi bataya tha aapko ki cup lo water ka and purge the dirty liquid and the clean gas from the top and all the gases will be there in the system okay so this Am I audible, bata? Sorry, bata. I lost the connection. I'm rejoined again. So you can unmute yourself. Just tell me, am I audible? Yes. Okay. Sorry, bata. I lost the connection in between. <laughs> so last is adsorption adsorption you know it's a surface phenomena okay so you have some you know some solid structure is there you can have any any anything like you can have alumina you can have silica gel you have activated carbon okay they have enormous surface area per unit weight okay so what are going to do you make a column and you make a column you can in the column you feed all the adsorbents Feel all the adsorbents. See, adsorbents can be alumina. It can be anything depending upon your requirement. Okay, you pass the dirty gas from the bottom, and when the gas comes in, it the the solute which you want to remove get adsorbed to that particular adsorbent, and the clean gas will come from the top. In this phenomena, see this molecules from the gas will be attached physically to the surface. So this is adsorption, adsorption, not absorption. so absorption is a bulk phenomena adsorption is a surface phenomena basically so you have different different removal phenomena depending on industry so it is just like that you come to know all the fundamentals and where it is being implemented that is up to your you know we are going to select it okay so you can go through this beta so i'm not going on to this uh, you can go through this beta these are uh, air pollution control in you know like uh, automobiles so you can go through beta as a mechanical engineer you have all the fundamentals like clear in this kind of category category catalytic converters are there they are typically work they are catalytic converters to use or move boc so what are the catalysts used you know very well 
platinum or palladium they may basically used to remove the voc okay so you just go through this beta all of you theek okay? hai so we are not going to detail of this kind of things just to give you glimpse of what is exactly there beta okay so any doubt beta <laughs> so 926 is there i can cover a bit more <laughs> what is being left in the metrology okay <coughs> so i think so if you remember this is the last part i think so which was left when we are doing the metrology so apcd we have done apcd we have done air pollution control devices we have done exactly fine all the detail we have done so again i'm requesting you to go through my videos again and again if you have any doubt otherwise you can always contact me for the same so now no this part i think so we started when we uh, covering air pollution detail if you remember the metrology i still remember i have gave you some glimpse of this particular uh, metrological parameters what is the metrological parameters i told you this is going to tell you how the pollutants are being released into atmosphere as subject to how they are being transported how they are diluted how they are modify and how they are removal so if you remember i told you this is why the industries have a long chimneys in the industries because the long chimneys are basically there to release the pollutant to higher atm atmospheres so that they can be taken to the larger atmospheres when they take to the larger atmospheres huge particular background con their concentration decreases to maine aapko example di thi fir aage mein kar jaunga ki jo pollutant hai aapke release hote hain bachche theek hai to kaise example di thi maine aapko example di thi agar aapko yaad hai yahan pe like you take a cup of water you put two drops of ink your cup of water becomes pinkish now this put this inkish water into a big bucket when you put this inkish water into big bucket your main color diluted when you put this particular bucket into a fresh water again all the color will faded away so this means background concentration of this dye or color will be totally faded away just because of this so same fund i am adopting over here so metallurgy is concerned about the see this what i am saying this okay so my purpose is you have a chimney in the industry uh, now pollutants are being released over here now if the pollutants are released taken to the higher atmosphere like this 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 not this way i'm going to show so once they are being released here the concentration high here the concentration is less because this is a relatively a new atmosphere so when this relative they are being released to relative new new atmosphere their background concentration decreases because ye small concentration mix hogi isme jahan pe concentration kam hai so this is again going to mix to Hard atmosphere where the background concentration is again very less. So when it is taken further, 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 its background concentration decreases. So main effect of pollutant are decreasing. But if you have not taken this point into consideration, it may fall to your households or your homes because if wind is not stable enough. So wind is stable enough. So wind stable is. So I have given you example. We did. But I have told you that in Diwali, you have balloons release at night. तो बेसिकली क्या होता है कि अगर आपकी विंड अच्छी चल रही है विंड स्पीड अच्छी है सो दे आर टेकन टू हार एटमोसफियर स्लोली एंड स्लोली एंड स्लोली एंड बहुत दूर तक अब तो चला जाता है बहुत दूर तक लेकिन विंड बहुत काम है उस दिन स्टेबल एटमोसफियर है तो आपका कुछ दिन तो राइज होगा बिकॉज ऑफ इंटरनल प्रेशर उस बैलून का लेकिन वो फॉल डाउन कर जाएगा जस्ट बिकॉज ऑफ दिस एंड सेम इज इज द केस इन दूटेंट ऑनली तो अगर विंड काम है तो विंड डायरेक्शन आपके घर की तरफ होगी बेटा तो उसके अकॉर्डिंगली the pollutants which are being released from industry they may fall to atmosphere when you are sleeping then you may inhale the dirty gases okay so this is called dispersion beta so we want dispersion we don't want it should come to your household so i want dispersion so that it can be taken higher atmosphere higher atmosphere higher atmosphere so that their background concentration decreases okay So, ये मैं सब बता चुका हूं आपको बेटा इफ यू रिमेंबर यू कैन गो थ्रू माई वीडियो सो दीज आर द टू थिंग्स विच आई वॉन्ट टू डिस्कस दैन लेटर ऑन मेट्रोलॉजिकल पैरामीटर्स ओके सो दीज आर द टू थिंग्स विच आर वॉन्ट टू डिफाइन हाउ द डिस्पर्शन इज गोइंग ऑन दीज आर प्राइमरी मेट्रोलॉजिकल पैरामीटर एंड सेकेंडरी 
सो प्राइमरी मेट्रोलॉजिकल पैरामीटर्स मेट्रोलॉजी पैरामीटर क्या होते हैं बेटा विंड स्पीड विंड डायरेक्शन टेम्परेचर ह्यूमिडिटी हाइट एटमोस्फेयर स्टेबिलिटी दीज आर दिस थिंग्स ओके एंड तभी आपने ऑब्जर्व किया होगा बेटा कि व्हेन द रेन फॉल्स योर एटमोस्फेयर बिकम्स वेरी क्लियर व्हाई बिकॉज़ रेन इज अ वन मेट्रोलॉजिकल पैरामीटर जो हवा में जितनी भी डस्ट होती है बेटा वो सब सेटल डाउन करा देती है सो दैट्स व्हाई यू हैव अ लीस्ट पोल्यूशन इन अ कोस्टल एरियाज okay when the coastal areas a rainfall is maximum rainfall is maximum all the pollutants which are being released into atmosphere they come to the earth okay so you have primary meteorological parameters these have a most significant effect or direct effect on the turbulence level of the atmosphere which ultimately impact to what distribution or dispersion of air pollutant these are wind speed abhi bataya tha maine wind speed abhi bataya tha wind direction then temperature just like i have shown you same like this wind direction it can take your pollutant released from the industry to your households wind speed okay same thing i have explained to you if you remember okay now secondary meteorological parameters are those which are going to affect the primary parameters okay like humidity solar radiations they are going to affect